Hey, Brian Brosdahl here, and I want to show you my rig that I use to get around on the lakes to look for fish. Uh, this is a snowmobile, obviously, probably the best way to go in the wintertime. Uh, big, wide track and skis. You just kind of go over everything where wheels find cracks and you can flip your, your rigs and, you know, it just happens all the time. And big tracks on a four-wheeler are okay, but they high center and push all the slush to the center. Now, even snowmobiles can get stuck, so I went with a 24-inch track. You can see this is super wide. The widest track you can get, 24 inches, super long track, and it's a 900, so it can really, it can go fast, but it's quiet, four stroke. You'll see how I got it rigged here. I've got a scout auger. As the ice gets thicker, I'm gonna put a 40 volt razor auger on here. I've got my rods on the back that I'm gonna use today. And if it's really nasty out, I'll put them in a case, but I like them out where I can get them. I don't wanna have to open up a case every time I get a rod. I have a bucket here that I can run its, you know, set up or sit on or use as a dead stick. I got my bubbler set up here. So what I'll do is I'll have the rod here and a bubbler in the hole never freezes up. Nothing happens until that rod bends. So you don't have to mess around with it. And you can see it's quite a platform to fish off of. I got my Humminbird Mega Live strapped in right here. And I've got the screen with the cover on so it doesn't get scratched. On the rig here, I got a Helix 8. Uh, for my Lake Master, I just like how clear the screen is, and a 7 works just fine. Works really good. You use what you got, and I had this in. Phenomenal screen, and I was able to find a spot really fast. And you can see, I fished yesterday here and did really well. I'm going shallower because it's cloudy out, it's early, and so that's how I got rigged up. And I also have a bubbler on the sled. If it's below zero, I really get it going, and... It keeps a hole open even in below zero temperatures and nothing worse than your line freezing up constantly. You still have to clear your line, put a little bit of line down. Uh, second up seat, super wide ski skins over my skis. I've got a brush guard because you never know what lake I'm gonna go through the woods to get to. And this, because you can't budge the sled. I could pull it a little bit, but this, it's, you know, your back is worth more than getting stuck in. So I got a Warren winch on there and high, low, reverse, and studded track. This thing's ready to rip. And the thing is, it's what you love to do. And that's why I went what I thought was the best. There's a lot of options out there, but when you do the checks and balances, I came up with this. So super wide track and this could pull a small skid house. Of course, portable is easy, but if you're in slush, and you're floating on mush, this ain't going down. Everything else is. So that's why I choose this, because I want to fish. I don't want to be stuck.